YouTube, Dark Magician of Team Sorcerers here, and I'm here to talk about the rules of the Battle Royals or Royal Rumbles that happen, <coughs> um, both on my channel and the Team Sorcerers channel. Um, now, obviously, uh, there are no official rules for Battle Royals in the game, so... Um, <clears throat> we've basically had to come up with ones that would make logical sense and seem the more fair, um, basically. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to go over all of them. Um, so, basically, um, on the first turn, nobody except the last person to go can draw or attack. Um, so let's say if there's six people, the five, no, the first five don't get to draw or attack, but the sixth and last person does get to draw and attack. Um, we used to do it so that nobody can draw or attack on the first turn, but we figured that since in a normal game whoever goes second is the first to draw and attack, and in a tag team duel the fourth player is the first to draw and attack. We figured we'd apply this to battle royals as well. Um, <clears throat> so that's very simple. Um, and then another rule which I briefly went over in the last video is that the attack immunity rule, which we um, put in just to stop people teaming up or ganging up on one person. Um, of course, I would have thought it would be easier to say no teaming up and no ganging up, uh, ganging up but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I'll go over it again. So, if player A attacks player B and the attack connects and player C is after player A, then player C cannot declare an attack on player B. Um, <clears throat> so that should make sense. Um, now, if, however, there are only three players in the battle royal, or um, it was knocked down from a higher number to three, then that rule doesn't apply, just for the sake of simplicity. Otherwise, it would just be too awkward, and it might potentially take longer. Um, now, we did, of course, uh, ban team-ups and alliances, um, which, rather annoyingly, meta players who joined in did do in the past. Um, you know, just working together and going for everyone else. Um, and not go for each other until the end, which I don't think is fair. Um, so, um, yeah, we banned team-ups and alliances. Um, because, well, otherwise, I feel like that defeats the whole point of a battle royale, really. Like, after all, everyone is your opponent. Like, the idea is that you go for each other you don't team up. Like, besides, if you want to play a team up game, play a tag team duel. That's what they're there for. Oh, yeah, that's something else I need to bring up. Like, everyone is treated as your opponent. So, things like Regeki, Harpy's Feather Duster, Elemental Hero Absolute Zero will affect everyone's field. Um, although, there are some cases where. Um, some cards would only affect one person, like, excuse me, like Ring of Destruction, for instance, or uh, Number 61 Volcasaurus. Um, and of course there is also a complex ruling which we've had to try and sort out regarding Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, originally it was ruled uh, that um, <clears throat> if it destroys two opposing special summoned effect monsters, for instance, with equal or less attack, then 
everyone takes a grand, but I don't really think that's fair on players who either don't have monsters or have less monsters. So here's how we've ruled how Scarlight or similar monsters work in battle royals. So let's say um, player A has no monsters, B has one, C has two, and I have Scarlight on the field. So it activates, it still destroys then, and player C takes a grand, player B takes 500, and player A takes no damage because they didn't control any special summoned effect monsters. Um, and um, we've also tried to figure out what would happen if Scarlight destroyed another of my own uh, special summoned effect monsters, but we decided, uh, I feel like, um, I don't know if this was ruled, it, it would make sense to, um, let's say if it popped one special summoned effect monster on my side, then that 500 damage will burn everyone. Right? That's what makes sense. Like It is a mouthful, but it's fair and it does make sense. Trust, trust me on this. Um, uh, um, and uh, I think Mind Crush would only affect one player as well. Uh, same with Neospatian Air Hummingbird. Um, that did cause an issue in the past where the card holder would gain 500 life points for every card in every opponent's hand and um, you know the owner of Hummingbird would just end up gaining too many life points. Um, so then Hummingbird actually got banned from Raw Rumbles but then it was um, unbanned and it was ruled so that um, whoever controls Hummingbird can only gain life points from one player. Uh, just to make it fair, um, uh, you know, easier. Um, <clears throat> uh, there are also um, other specific cards and decks that have been banned from Raw Rumbles. Um, one of which is Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, something that I think we completely forgot about. Um, um, now, the reason why uh, Ultimate Falcon got banned was <clears throat> because, well, it's kind of unfair um, if it's summoned on turn one. So let's say there's like four people, for instance, and player one dropped it first turn, it would mean that um, uh, the last player to go just basically takes three grand and hasn't even had a turn yet. Um, in fact, the more players that are in there, the more damage that the last player will take, basically. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we thought it would be better to just ban the Ultimate Falcon from Royals. Uh, another one is that... Um, is that trap card which lets the opponent draw multiple cards and you gain life points um, uh, what was it, 2000 life points per card um, I'm trying to remember the name of it um, I thought it was Balance of Judgment but um, Guess not. Um, I'm trying to find it on Edo Pro at the moment. Um, oh, what is it called? Um, see, I, 
I know the effect, I just can't remember its name. Um, side effects, that's it. Your opponent draws one to three cards, then you gain 2,000 life points for each card they drew with this effect. Um, now, this was used on two occasions in a Royal Rumble by Kane, um, <clears throat> and uh, he just gained far too many life points from it. It's like, in one of them, I think he gained somewhere over 40,000, and it was difficult to keep track, and I uh, couldn't, and I had trouble deducting certain life points, because um, I think my camera batteries had died, and I was recording with either my huddle or my phone, and uh, I could, I didn't have a calculator. Um, but yeah, that trap was uh, once how he survived taking a huge amount of damage and getting gamed by Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon when Weber's Five summoned it for the first time in a royal. Um, so yeah, basically certain life point increase cards have been banned or nerfed in War Rumbles. Um, but there are, of course, decks uh, that have been banned from Raw Rumbles as well. Um, <clears throat> the first one to get banned was actually Exodia. Um, after that one time where um, original Ethan um, used it in a royale, and uh, he was able to assemble the pieces um, and win the whole thing. Um, and then after that, um, we decided to just ban Exodia and all troll decks, actually, as, well, uh, nobody likes troll decks, basically. Um, there was some protest behind this, though, um, and uh, it was argued, can't you just carry on anyway, even if I win with Exodia? Like, why? What's the point? It's like you've already won the whole Royal Rumble. There's no point carrying on for second place. Like, do you not think? Um, but yeah, um, like I said, other troll decks were banned as well, so no Storly Burn decks are allowed either. Um, and yet, for some reason, Time Lords didn't get banned from Royals. Um, because that's technically a troll deck, because all it does is stall behind indestructible monsters and burn. So I'm still calling for Time Lords to be banned from Royals. Um, of course, then again, nobody's playing them right now. Um, but... Um, I'll bring it up again at some point. Um, and uh, another troll deck that got banned at some point in 2016 is Amorphages. Like, what can I say? Nobody likes Amorphages. Like, it's an archetype that only exists to piss everyone off. And uh, the one and only time they were used in a royal, it, it was just an annoying drag. Like, nobody could do anything. The game was being stalled out and dragged out unnecessarily. And we didn't even finish it, because, like, we had to go home. Um, and as a result, they've been banned from royals. Um, of course, I wish the whole archetype was on the ban list. Um, but going back to decks that burn, um, another deck that actually got banned from Royals was Volcanics. Um, yeah, they're just infuriating to play against now because Blaze Accelerator Reload exists and um, it's just annoying that. Um, the card holder can use that and scatter shot to blow up the opponent's monsters 
at any time during the main phase. Um, and I'm not even joking. Every time a player used Volcanics in a Raw Rumble, then that player always won. Uh, it was, it was I guess it was just difficult and annoying to try and overcome, and uh, people were just getting fed up of it. So, yeah, that's what happened. Um, I mean, I didn't go along with it, but um, but now, of course, I agree with that decision because fuck volcanics, and I'm sorry, but I don't agree with anyone who thinks that they need more support. Like, they're annoying enough as it is. All because Blaze Accelerator Reload just ruined the archetype. Like, I don't recognise it anymore as a fun classic GX deck. Um, it's just infuriating. Um, vampires were temporarily banned, um, which is actually my fault, because almost every time I used Vampires, in a Raw Rumble back in 2015 and 16, I made a mistake that messed up the game state, mainly involving Vampire Kingdom. Um, for those who don't know what Vampire Kingdom does, it's a field spell, and one of the effects is if the opponent sends a card from their deck to the graveyard, I have to send a vampire from my deck to the graveyard, and then target a card on the field and destroy it. Um, and I forgot to apply that effect, um, and I remember at one point it really pissed off Alex, um, and I just felt terrible. Um, so, the deck was banned from Royals, but then later on that year, um, it was unbanned, and apparently he only said that just out of annoyance, so, um, yeah, vampires are fine to play in them, um, although the thing is, I don't even play Vampire Kingdom in my vampire deck anymore, because A, um, I needed room for other things, and B, you just never know when that mistake could happen again. Like, I kind of hate that it's mandatory. Like, if it was optional, then this wouldn't have been an issue at all. Um... But yeah, there's that. Um, Trick Stars also got banned from Royals, like later on in 2017, um, purely because it's an OTK Battle Burn deck. Um, and there's a chance that the Trick Star player could open the absolute nuts, you know, have Light Stage, Triple Lycoris, Triple Reincarnation the dark room of nightmare and then just game everyone right there and then before the royal has properly begun uh, which of course isn't fair um, so yeah they've been banned from royals which is just as well because well pff, let's face it nobody likes trick stars except the players who play them like that's another archetype that I wish never existed. Um, there are two other uh, decks that were banned. Um, True Draco being one of them. Um, another scumbag deck that nobody likes. Um, yeah. Basically because, well... That deck does too many things to stop anyone from being able to play the game, regardless of the hits that it got over the last five years. Um, the Floodgates and you know, the true Draco spells and traps just proved to be too problematic and too disruptive. Um, and uh, it got to that point where nobody wanted to deal with them anymore. Um, <clears throat> and um, the other one was Thunder Dragons. Um, this was something I requested because, well, Colossus just pissed everyone off too much. Like, 
that nobody could really do anything with that card on the field, um, and nobody could get rid of it. Um, it was just too much of a struggle. Um, and I'm pretty sure um, whoever played Thunder Dragons would always win. So, um, yeah, they got banned. But obviously now that Colossus is banned, Thunder Dragons are no longer a problem. I mean, Titan is a problem, I know. But I think I, think I can speak for everyone when I say that I'd rather be stuck behind Titan than Colossus any day and fingers crossed and touch wood that Colossus never comes back um, like if it did it would be another stupid ban this change as well because generally banned cards get banned for a good reason well except Stratos of course um, but that's history um, but I think Thunder Dragons can be unbanned and you know be allowed to be used in Raw Rumbles again um, <clears throat> since uh, Colossus is banned so it's fine um, so I'm trying to think um, I don't think any other cards and decks are banned from Royals um, not as far as I remember um, and I think that's everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've covered all the Royal Rumble rules. Um, obviously, if any of the guys from Dead Uni can think of any that I've missed, then um, they can obviously post it in the comments down below. Um, and yeah. Uh, those are the Battle Royale slash Royal Rumble rules. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.